Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Daniela and today I will be talking about bead crochet again. Some basics. Uh, and I try to make it as simple as possible. Uh, I'm going to show you what to do, how, how to actually start if you have some pattern. I created this pattern especially for this occasion. And if you want to download it, you can find the link in the description of the video. You have a thread, beads, needle and what to do next. If you want to support me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you don't miss any new videos. So first we need to thread the beads according to the list of the beads, which is this. I thread my needle. It's best to use a big eye needle so you can comfortably put the thread to the eye of the needle. If you want to learn more about basic bead crochet supplies, look at my other video. You can see the link up here uh, where I talk about what you need to start to bead crochet. And we read the list of the beads from top to bottom and from left to right. I like to use this tool made of business cards so I don't get lost in my pattern. I move it on my pattern like this while I am threading my beads. So I pick up according to this list 3 dark green beads, 11 white beads, 1 dark green bead, 5 white beads, etc. When I get to the end of the column where there are 2 white beads and 1 dark green bead, I start with the next column from top to bottom. Yeah, from top to bottom. And I will continue to the end the same way. From top to bottom and from the left to the right. So I pick up 3 dark green beads. One, two, three, eleven white beads, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Uh, my pattern is quite complicated and long and the bead crochet row will be quite thick, so I put on my thread only one repetition of the pattern. Uh, I get one repetition when I thread on all these beads once. It's 1,600 beads. It's quite a lot. And after I crochet it, it will be this whole part. If I would put on uh, my thread all the beads, all the repetitions of the pattern, I need to make my necklace. Uh, the bead string would be very, very long and it will be very hard to work with it. That's why I thread only one repetition on the pattern, crochet it, cut the thread, thread another repetition of the pattern and connect the thread uh, and continue to crochet. I will show you in detail how to add a new thread in bead crochet. Uh, the connection is invisible. And I also want to know how long the bead string is to finish the whole necklace. Uh, how many meters should I thread to crochet the whole necklace? Uh, this information is especially useful if you want to crochet the whole product at once and you will not add a new thread. Or you can also calculate how many beads you need at total. So, uh, if I want to make a 50 centimeters long necklace and I use this pattern, which has circumference 20 beads, which means that there will be 20 beads in one row, uh, the bead string for the whole necklace will be 50 centimeters times 20. Uh, this is 1000 centimeters, which is 10 meters. Uh, it's always the length of the finished product times circumference. And if you want to know how many beads you need for the whole necklace, uh, it's a little more complicated because we have to take into account the size of the beads. I make a whole video about it, so don't forget to take a look at it if you are interested in it. I will show you the calculation with these size 11 Toho round seed beads. Uh, so we are using size 11 seed beads. You can see in the table that I counted that if I'm using size 11 seed beads, there are six beads per one centimeter of the finished bead crochet rope, six rows of beads per one centimeter. The circumference of the bead crochet rope that I want to do is 20 beads and the necklace will be 50 centimeters long. So we multiply it by 50. Uh, that's approximately the total number of beads in this whole bead crochet necklace. And we know from the pattern that uh, the total number of beads in one repetition is 1600. So we need less than four repetitions of the pattern to make the whole necklace. So I thread on all the beads for one repetition of the pattern and I can start to crochet. Uh, 
Uh, the beat crochet row will have 20 beads in one row. The circumference is 20 beads. It's quite a lot, so I will use a single bead crochet technique. If it were only about 8 to 10 beads in one row, I would use slip stitch technique. Uh, again, you can learn the difference between slip stitch and single bead crochet in my other videos. I make a slip knot. And I start to make the first few rows without beads. Uh, I'll make the initial chain. I need 20 stitches here. One, two, three, four, five, nineteen, and twenty. And finally I will add one more. Then I go back with another 20 stitches. So I put my hook to the first loop. Yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. To the next loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over again and pull through both loops. And we will continue the same way till the end. To the loop. Yarn over. Pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. And now we need to connect this chain to a circle. So we put the hook to the first loop in this end, right uh, in the loop under two threads. I wrap the thread around my index finger and yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over again and pull through both loops. And we will continue the same way and make another 20 stitches. To the loop, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over again and pull through both loops. It's the second, now the third. Now we can start crochet with beads. Uh, but first I prepare my first 20 beads, which will create the first row with beads. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. You can see that the first 20 beads are white, because if you look at this pattern, we start to crochet from bottom up and uh, the first row and the half of the second row are white beads. I wrap the thread around my index finger to keep tension. Uh, go with my hook to the loop. Slide one bead down. Yarn over, pull through one loop. Yarn over and pull through both loops. I'll make a close up for you to see better. To the loop, slide a bead down, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. And continue the same way. To the loop, slide a bead down yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. Now I have 20 beads in the first row and I can continue with the second row with beads. So I prepare another uh, 20 beads. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And again the same, to the loop, slide a bead down, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through again. And continue the same way until you have no beads left. You can see that I'm out of beads, so I cut a thread, 
and uh, leave it there long enough. And I thread another repetition of the pattern again from um, top to bottom and from left to right. Now I have another repetition of the pattern on my thread and I can continue to crochet. I take my original bead crochet rope, I take this new tail, wrap around my finger and I simply pull a loop of a new thread into the last loop of my old thread. Now I have a, a loose loop of a new thread and two thread tails. I need to tighten the loop and uh, hold both tails in place. I slide some beads down and continue to crochet again as if the new thread were the old one. Uh, so I put my hook into the loop, slide a bead down, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over and pull through both loops. To the loop again, slide a bead down, yarn over, pull through one loop, yarn over again and pull through both loops and continue the same way. Uh, I crochet a few beads and check to make sure the pattern is correct. After we crochet a piece long enough, we need to get rid of the tails. Uh, or you can do it when the whole bead crochet necklace is finished, it's up to you. Uh, but I like to do it in the process. We need the tails to be invisible, so we don't want to run the needle through any of the beads, just the thread, the fibers. My necklace will be thick and I want to support its shape with a plastic hose when it's finished. So I need the channel inside uh, to be open. Uh, well, it's important to keep the thread tails within the thread wall, not through the open channel, so I can run the support through the open channel. So I thread my needle with one of the tails. and work the thread through the fibers at least in two different directions. And then cut it near the beads. And we do exactly the same with the other tail. and stretch the rope a little bit so the tails can disappear completely. And we can continue to crochet and when we run off the beads, I'll repeat the whole process. It's very simple. Now I finished the bead crochet rope, so I cut the thread and slide the hook. So I close the last loop. And I support its shape with a plastic hose. I bought it in Hobby Market. So I simply put it inside like this and cut the excess. I think it looks amazing. Now I need to add some fastening. So I thread my needle with one of the tails. and close the tunnel make a knot and cut the thread. And now we do exactly the same with the other side. Now you can see that both ends are closed. And I take my pliers, take an eye pin, open it, and go through the threads.
and close it. Now I take my bead cap, uh, it has 40 millimeters. Cut it about one centimeter from the bead cap. Bend it and make a loop. Now I do exactly the same with the other side. And now I add a toggle clasp. I open jump ring. Put it to the eye of the eye pin and add one part of the of a toggle clasp and close the jump ring and do exactly the same on the other side but on this side with this bar I always add two jump rings so I take my jump ring open it with pliers Add to the eye of the eye pin, add another jump ring and close it. Now I open the other jump ring and add the second part of the fastening and close it again. And it's finished. And this amazing necklace is finished. I hope you like my tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any new videos. And see you next time. Bye!